guys, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Tuesday, January 19th. And today, the moon moves into Gemini. And so the twins' energy is going to be filling you with like this dualistic quality today. So some of you are going to be really elevated and tapping into really positive, optimistic air energy that just is, goes with the flow and it's easily mutable. And some of you are going to be tapping into energy that makes you feel confused and moody. There's essentially two types of energy anytime you have a moon in Gemini. That's the dark energy. I, I always call the dark twin and the light twin. And often it depends on where you're currently at emotionally, which twin you tune into. So um, energies will go one of two ways today. It is an absolute. So Uranus is um, is training Venus and training Saturn. So when Uranus, this this planet that rules, you know, unpredictable energy, rebelliousness, it re it, it rules freedom, you know, individualizing yourself. Um, it's going to be training Venus and training Saturn, which means there is no obstacle that Saturn or no limitation or no ramification Saturn is essentially letting you out of the classroom in this type of energy and Saturn is conjunct with Venus which means that broad-minded relationships creativity um, pleasure seeking as long as it's something that expands your mind and expands your potential, Saturn is going to be completely on board with. And that really, really makes uh, the Gemini moon super enthusiastic and childlike and opportunistic. You know, when you get a moon in Gemini, this moon really honestly understands the potential of the mind. And when you have the lower mind and then you have the Sagittarian elevated mind working together harmoniously in this trine energy, you're talking about thought processes working very smooth. You're talking about um, expanding creativity. You're talking about unionizing energies. And all of this just seems to click and flow quite easily. Beautiful, beautiful energy for those of you that are tapping into the light twin. Um, so you may feel extremely satisfied where the where a relationship is heading. You know, this is an expansive, wonderful relationship that shows potential, not only shows the potential of the relationship, but shows the potential you feel accepted. And so you feel like developing your potential um, for those of you that are caught in super expansive, healthy relationships. You may feel appreciated for who you authentically are externally and express your unique characteristics. Remember that anytime we have Uranus involved in Aries and Venus and Saturn in this trine energy, this is about expressing how unique you are, the gifts that you have, the, the quirks, and somebody just appreciates you for those quirks and, and, you know, and just, and, and it's, just fully evolved enough to think that you are an asset in the unique identity that you have to manifest with inside of you. So relationships are going to take a turn, I think, for many of you. And this doesn't have to be relationships in the in the um, mindset that we when we say the word relationship we think romantic relationship we think a relationship that is sexual based and that we're building a future with no Sagittarian energy is unique energy it it blurs the boundaries of the term relationship so many of you may be may be more into a companionship than into a relationship it's just a relationship that allows you to be you you have freedom, you can do whatever you want, there's no restrictions, there's no borders in this relationship, it's just plain supportive, expansive energy. Many of you are caught in these relationships and this is the ideal energy for those relationships to really help you manifest your potential and help 
the other person manifests their their ability to be free from these borders, constrictive borders of conservative relationships. Saturn is releasing you from obstacles and relationships you currently desire, and you may have been um, limiting this relationship's potential. So if you're thinking in the terms of these constrictive borders, conservative relationships, what we consider as, you know, people relationships, we're going to restrict and limit the potential of that relationship. If we let this relationship breathe, and if we let it expand, these companionships, these unions, these friendships that are more companionships, um, then we can start to exhibit potential and freedom and breathing and moving about and, you know, leading each other in different directions. I mean, that is the point of all of this because this isn't about restricting and falling into um, collective thinking. You know, I, you know, if you were in a uh, like, let's say just a, a conservative religion, and the conservative religion is that you are married and that you have a, um, a relationship that is exclusive, and this relationship is going to lead to XYZ kids with a house, and, you know, you guys are going to be eventually making this much money. That's a very restrictive conservative relationship, and I want to say that that is a limiting belief system in this type of energy. Not to say that it's not a completely acceptable uh, uh, restrictive boundary for many to um, still flourish in, but I'm just saying in this particular type of energy, this this is trying to test the boundaries. It's trying to explore. It's trying to seek out new ways to look at relationships, to manifest potential freedom, individualism, no boundaries. That's what this energy is all about. And I know that's and in Gemini energy, when you have a moon in Gemini, it, this is beautiful energy to actually take and manifest the potential in because this is air energy and air energy likes to be free. Anytime you let air out, right, it just flows harmoniously. It floats along a cloud and it expresses itself and it it, it pulls in ideas, it takes in ideas into the lower mind, implements them into the day-to-day -day basis, and then it elevates the actual learning potential because as we start to take in all this new information, it just expands the mind exponentially. And that is Sagittarian energy. Guys, it's gorgeous energy. Let those relationships be free. Do not get caught in the Uranian and Pluto square of like restriction and control and, you know, um, getting caught in regimented thinking and belief systems. This is not the energy. It will not promote positive, uplifting, high vibration and energy. This is about talking with new groups of people, expanding the mind, cultures, uh, belief systems, just playing with different perspectives and then and putting them into your daily life or interpreting them and then adding some it doesn't mean that you need to add the entire perspective into your life but at least allow yourself to explore the potential of different belief systems explore the potential of Letting go of the boundaries, of the constrictive boundaries that we've all got ourselves caught in. And when we do that, we're like an explorer. We're like Columbus exploring whether or not the earth is flat, right? And he found out it was round. The restrictive belief system when Columbus um, first wanted to set Sale and he wanted to um, he wanted to disprove the constrictive belief system is that he thought the world is round and everybody thought the world was flat and so he went out there and proved it was round. That's the energy that we're talking about. It's explore, it's expansive, and it's just amazing air-based energy stimulated with all of this amazing uh, Sagittarian energy completely in the trine. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.